Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back today. I am in my car and secret time. It's actually five minutes after my tour Paul, I'm out and I thought I would shoot another one. So I am actually going to check out a very, very highly requested brand that I never do. So today I'm gonna see if there's anything worth buying at Old Navy. Before I go in there, I do wanna say that this is one of the few Old Navies in Arizona that actually carries plus size. And I will also say that I have a huge, 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 huge bias against Old Navy. Um, I rarely find things that work here. I rarely find things that are worth the price here. Um, I will admit I haven't been back in about a year, if not longer, um, because there hasn't really been anything worth going in that I have seen. So I am really hoping, hoping to be proven wrong today and that I hope I do find something but uh disclaimer I'm not I'm not super excited but you know I'm, I'm doing it for the subbies I'm doing it for my sub I'm doing it for my babes and uh let's let's head on in guys in the dressing room at Old Navy. My arm is all marked up from carrying a bunch of hangers. Going over outfit of the day, um, American Eagle jeans, Torrid Cami, um, Super Soft Cami says zero. Same Louis Vuitton Mint Freesia bag as last week, and then also the same sandals because it's the same day and I just changed my top because I thought I was being clever. Okay, so I want to start off by saying that there's, I picked up a lot more than I thought I was going to because I am biased. <laughs> I don't really care for old maybe. So I'm surprised I found enough, like this much stuff, to enough to like make a video. So I'm just going to get trying on and I'm going to talk over the music so I don't get copyright strike because that would really suck. Okay, so first outfit. God. Okay, I'm definitely not gonna buy it, um, but it doesn't look bad. So it's kind of a jumpsuit, like an overall jumpsuit. Um, I got this in a street size 2X, which is like an 1820. So I feel like from a fit standpoint, it fits good. Um, I don't really like the fabric, it's a little thick and itchy. Um, and I don't like how it's not like tighter on the waist. Um, I'm just not a big fan. I feel like I wish it was like a little bit longer, so you guys can see. Kind of comes like just, at angle, I guess, which I don't know. I just, I feel like it doesn't work. It's a cute vibe. It's very like preppy and adorable and stuff, but, um, it's not for me, you guys. It's not for me. This fabric is kind of itchy. It's also like really, really big in the back, like huge in the back and the top is definitely like way, 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 way too big. So pass and let's keep moving on. What the hell is happening? Like, what is happening? Okay, so this is a 2X Plus, and I just want to show you guys. This is a 2X. Is that even in focus? There we go. It's a 2X Plus. This was a 2X straight size. Sorry, let me, I just want to be like all the clear. Okay, 2X straight size. How is there more room in that than there is in this? Like, this looks awful. Like, I... I don't even know like what to say. I was so excited about this. I was like, oh good, a pair of like chambray modern cut, like overall -y things. I don't know what the hell is happening here. Um, just, my God. No, just no, no. I'm back in a straight size 2X. The top is too big. I don't know what I was thinking, picking up all these non-stretch woven jumpsuits. I felt like they were the only things that looked really interesting because most everything here is kind of t-shirts, jeans, cardigans, so good basics. But um, I thought I would try something a little more fashion-y. Um, I hate this. <laughs> I really do. I think it just doesn't work at all. It's just way too big. Um, and I've had things be too big where you can get them tailored and that's fine, but I just don't love this enough to tailor it. Um, the ruffle is just kind of not vibing for me. I think maybe if it were like this, you know, like a tighter kind of strap, I think would be a little more flattering for me. And then if the pants were like, they, they fit fine. I just not liking kind of what's happening here. Like I'm getting gutty, which is fine. I can put on a shape or tony, but like this, what is, I don't care for this at all. I feel like the crotch is almost 
too low, which I don't think I've ever said before in my life, because I usually like a drop crotch, but there's something about this fabric that just, I don't know, it's just not doing it for me, you guys. I feel like it looks very matronly, and I don't know, I feel like if you're taller and less hippie than me, but broader than me, this might work, so if you're actually more of a true hourglass, that might work, um, or if you're really short, then this would be like, you know, the right length on you. On me, it's just too short, but it's too like awkward. And if you're taller, then it might hit you a little bit higher. Um, I just, I feel like if I, if I walk in it, like, I don't know anybody that wants this vibe. So, <sighs> okay, you guys, I'm trying to remain open-minded here. I'm trying to remain optimistic, but it's hard, it's getting hard. I know some of y'all in the comments are gonna be like, Crystal, you went into this with a bad attitude and it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. And I would like to say that you are correct ma'am and this is accurate however i wanted to try on a, a little dress next because i figured this will be good for my self-esteem and this will be good and make me feel better about everything that's happening um okay so this is not my favorite dress i've ever tried on i am got a 1x plus on um so it fits a little tight in the top which is kind of a little weird. It has a smocked back, so I thought it'd have a little more space, but anyway, that's okay. Um, we have like an empire waist, an empire waist as it were. Um, and then it's a midi, it's a midi length. So it's not all the way to the ground, but it's still cute. Um, it has a lining. I really like the colors. I really like the print. I think that's really pretty. It's still maybe not as exciting as I would like for it to be. But I do think it is a pretty dress. I did pick up the same dress in yellow, which I didn't realize was the exact same dress. So maybe in a solid, I'll like it a little bit better. I don't hate it. It's not making me as angry as this stuff is. But, um, you know, it's just, I don't know. I feel like it's just not a vibe, you guys. Okay, as I suspected, solid color much better. Don't know why that print didn't work very odd. Um, I do like this better in a solid color. I still feel like it's not the right cut for me. I'm having a hard time identifying why. Um, I think maybe it bells. No, it doesn't bell out too much. It is pretty. I don't know if I like it enough to buy it, but I will say it's, it's not bad. I think maybe what it is, is it's maybe there's something missing, whether it's a seam here or a V maybe that would make it a little more interesting like that may make it a little more interesting. There's just something about this that just feels too conservative for me. Um, doesn't make it a bad dress. Actually, probably my favorite thing I've tried on so far. Um, and I do think it is pretty, but there's even like some sheerness in the fabric where you can kind of see the outline of my stomach, which is weird in a floaty dress. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm just not, I'm not obsessed with it, but I certainly don't hate it by any stretch of the imagination. It is quite cute. Um, it's just not my style at all. Okay. Now this is a adorable look at this little dress you guys this okay this this is the best thing i've tried on this is a straight size 2x this is really cute now it is way too big on top and there's no seam here to like make it an easy take in but if i were to kind of zhuzh the sleeves up kind of tuck all this stuff in and this is pretty common being too big on top is not something i get mad about because it's really common for my body type when i'm like so much smaller on top than i am on the bottom so that's not something that bothers me a lot i really like this i love the placement of the seam which is right at my waist i love the length it's not too long it's not too short it's figure hunting hugging but not too body con this is like like i don't this is like a little like safari body kind of thing this is really cute you guys i actually may love this i mean i'm definitely gonna have to have it taken in on top a lot like all of this extra fabric just like needs to go and i will wear more of a full coverage choni i have a thong on right now um but i really like how this sits i feel like it hugs but it doesn't hug too much um and i think it looks really cute with a little brown belt this could be adorable i am over the moon about this dress you guys i'm actually over the moon about it um i i'm not eating my words but i'm not like not eating my words you know what i mean this is real good <sighs> just why why this is a 2x plus a 2x plus not a 2x like a double x straight size a 2x plus and like say hello to my chonies like come on this is ridiculous okay anyway if you're less hippie than me 
Um, this is a non stretch woven, so definitely size up. I do like the print. I think conceptually, this is a really great little vacation dress. Um, even the arms are like a little tight, which is so weird in the 2X. Um, I'm not obviously thrilled with how this is fitting, but I do really like it conceptually. I think if you are like a 16, 18, I think the 2X will fit you just fine. And if you're a like 20, 18, 20, 22, size up to a 3X on this guy. Um, it is really cute though. I will say that the print is great, but this, this is killing me, you guys. Um, one thing to note, the fabric is a little thick and therefore a little scratchy, but I think if you're into like a preppy casual shirt dress, vacay vibe or if you have a column body type which is like not a lot of curve kind of straight up and down so you're not going to be dealing with all of this portion and your body just kind of more like this then you're not going to obviously have this issue and it will absolutely work for you um i'm actually kind of really bummed that this doesn't work for me and i don't think they have the next size up so i'm gonna have to pass um that's just sad okay this is me being really real with you guys these are a size 22, which is usually my size up size. So size 22 is usually my size up size. And when I tell you guys, these are not even coming close to buttoning up on me. Like I would need a 24 or 26 and this is their super stretch, whatever the heck. So all the ranting and raving about these are the best jeans ever. Um, I'm not seeing it, I'm not feeling it, and I'm taking these the hell off. Okay, so laughably, these are also a size 22 plus, and they get on just fine. They're not my favorite. I prefer my jeans to be a little more high rise than this. They do come to add belly button, which not my favorite. I just like things to be a little higher, but they do fit nicely in the front. However, the gap in the back is so big that like all you guys can get in here with me and come and watch the I just, what? Come on. This is, no. Anyway, so I don't like the shorts, but at least they are on, I guess. Um, and this top I grabbed, it's the same fabric and print as the dress that didn't work, but I really did like it. So I thought maybe I could live that like little cropped Hawaiian vibe. vibe. I'm going to try this top on again with my jeans because I know that they fit, they fit the way I want them to. Um, so I don't think old navy bottoms are just cut for my body. I think they're cut for someone that isn't as hippie as me. So definitely more of a column or maybe an hourglass shape um certainly not a pear shape at all and they're a little lower rise than i would like which gives me this vibe which not my favorite either so i just have a, one more pair of shorts left to try on and then i don't know if i'm gonna get anything you guys but i'll um try those on and then move on okay and these are also a 22 and i feel like they fit great they're a little more high-waisted than the denim shorts um and they're nice length i do feel like ultimately they will roll up but that's more of my thighs doing it than the shorts themselves and i put my white tank back on because it was really distracting to have like two different kind of competing patterns on at the same time um they're cute they're definitely not as spacious in the back which is great this is not a lot of room um they seem to fit really nice they hug my stomach a little more than i like but they're not bad at all i'm not going to get them because i ultimately don't find them flattering i feel like they give me a little bit of camel toe and this is just not kind of the vibe i like to go for i prefer a more smooth silhouette um so i'm going to pass on these but i will say it's kind of crazy to see the fit differential between the black jeans that wouldn't even get up the blue shorts that were kind of okay and then these which are actually the best out of all of them but still not um ideal for me so that is that i'm going to put that other shirt back on with my jeans just to see if it works and then i am going to get the heck out of here you guys okay okay now this is cute we have my jeans on our little hawaiian dad shirt tied up in a little bow now we're adorable now we're vacation cute this is better i think this might be the shirt i get this might be the only thing i get honestly um but at least this is this is cute and things fit well and the jeans fit well and everything fits well and nothing's crazy or going crazy um okay you guys i am going to pack up and i'll see you guys back at the car for final thoughts and maybe a haul it might just be this we'll see okay guys i am back in my car after that old navy try on 
I really was hoping to be wrong. I really was like hoping that I went in there being like, you know, I'm a little apprehensive. I'm a little like not super excited, but maybe I'll be wrong. I'll get in there and I'll find stuff. And I was super disappointed. Um, I felt like nothing was really cut for my body. I feel like if you're a column shape, which is straight up and down, or if you're an hourglass with equal space um, between your shoulders and waist and waist and hips, then I think you might have some better luck. Obviously, I have a lot of BLT and I felt like there was nothing that really worked for me. I also found a lot of confusion in the fact that a 2X plus felt and ran smaller than a double X straight size. Um, that's not typically how it goes. Usually a double X straight size is equivalent to like a one X plus plus. So I was a little confused and then mostly irritated at how things were just not, it's not even that the sizing wasn't consistent is that the grouping of sizes didn't seem to make sense, I guess. Um, so I guess ultimately I would have had to size up in a, to a three X and everything, which would have been fine. Unfortunately, in the fashiony side of the store, um, in the fashiony racks, they didn't really have a lot of sizes so I didn't really have the option to size up so I did get one thing um, and I didn't realize how much it was till I got the register and at that point I was just like whatever fine so I did get the Hawaiian like dad shirt because I did think it was really cute and I didn't realize that it was $33 uh, I think $33 for this shirt is kind of obscene but I bought it anyway because here we are. I also bought a bottle of Dasani from their thing. Um, so overall, I still continue to dislike Old Navy, uh, wish them the very best, you know, no hard feelings, yada, yada. It's just not right for me. Um, I know a lot of people love Old Navy, so obviously people with different body types are really gonna have a lot of success there, but it just really wasn't for me um, aesthetically, nor from a fit perspective. Um, that being said, I will say Old Navy will probably be a really good go-to for basics, so if, if the jeans do work for you, like if the Rockstar jeans are your jam and they fit you like a glove, then girl, carry on by all means means carry on and if you're into t-shirts and tank tops at a really affordable price obviously they are a phenomenal fit they also have really great shoes and accessories and stuff like that but um just definitely not for me so anyway i ended up going to ulta which is just across the way and i bought some new tanner and i bought some lashes and i bought uh some of those fancy only mac can get away with charging 16 dollars for a stupid watermelon and pineapple scented water um, but but here we are I was like this sucks I want to buy stuff so I went to Ulta and I got tanner and lashes and a few other things and this very expensive silly spray that I'm going to spray on myself and enjoy the scent of like watermelon Jolly Rancher um, okay anyway that is it for this inside the dressing room you guys you know what they can't all be wins um, and and this was not one of those times where we had a lot of wins so Leave your request for stores down in the comments down below. I would love to know where you want me to check out next. I am going to go home and relax and try to come down from the fact that nothing worked for me. What a bummer. What a bummer. That Fix Plus smells so good. Okay, you guys, so that is it for me. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe on your way out. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video, and I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.